Live. Greetings, one and all. Welcome back to the RPG. I'm the Sonic Geek. Here with me again is Red Nova. Yep. Hello. And it is time for more Final Fantasy XIV. Try has stuff to do, and Canther is unavailable, but we are continuing our mad dash to the end of 2.0. Yep. And we are doing so via Stone Vigil. Yeah. <laughs> We have a dungeon right out of the gate, and a pretty Woo! good dungeon at that, too. Yeah. Once we get more people. Yep. Yeah, the unfortunate part only had two to go into a dungeon, and you gotta wait for the other two people, especially when one of them's a healer. Yep. Yeah, to be honest, Astrologian wasn't available right now, I would have been leveling it up already. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll have to wait till I get to Heaven's Ward for that. Yep. Oh yeah, speaking of which, our last session was pretty much a taste of Heaven's Ward. Yep. Yeah, because we are in the Corthus region, which is... Yep. Well, Central Corthus, which is... Yep. Kind of got her foot in that region area of the game anyways. I mean, the gates to it is right there, too. Yep. Yep, the gates to Ishgard. But we're a ways away from that, although we are making pretty good progress in the story, considering, especially last time. Oh, yeah. And look at where we are quest-wise. We may very likely hit the next trial, which is up today, too. It's, uh, we can get this fucking cue to pop. Yeah. I don't care if I see it. In the meantime, I've been doing leveling and gun break whenever I can, which has pretty much been daily if I've been hopping on. <laughs> yeah. I've kind of been taking a break because I didn't want leveling roulette to put me in here by accident. Ah. Uh, on my main, I've made progress on Eureka. Mmm. Yeah. Have... Oh, here we go. Let's see, where are you at in there? Uh, Pyros. Oh! Spent some money and I have acquired a number of Logos actions. Yep. That's a good thing about dealing with that is you can get those off the market board. <laughs> yep. Which makes getting that part of it a lot easier. At least to an extent, unless you're going even unless, even if you're going for the armor, which is... Yeah, my can. ultimate goal is the uh, glowy elemental yep. armor. Yeah. And it wasn't just a weapon, because then you only would have needed 30 of them instead of the whole thing here. Yep. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Always that one asshole. Yep. What an asshole! Oh, Twice. Again. Wow. Okay. Third time is a charm, maybe? Uh, got the healer. Looking again. like it. You just gotta wait for that other DPS, which is the thing that ruined it the first time. Yep. Come on, jackass. Yeah, that's the problem with DPS is having to wait is that the wait time said to get blown up. So. And that happened before where I happened to step away and then the freaking Q popped while, right while I was away and, and missed it. There we go. Yeah, that happened. Yeah. I think it's happened to everybody at least once. Yeah. I think so over a little bit. Here we go. Yeah, I was lucky enough not to get this for leveling when I was doing it, so... Yay! Where are the key. sudden fire weapon? Fire breath weapon. Yeah. It's another thing I've been meaning to work on is some D&D &D stuff.
Puff start. And away we go. Yeah. And again. He <laughs> get a fire breath. <laughs> yep. Yeah, hide the fog like the time I reach that. Alright, come on. Oh. I almost forgot my orange juice. Oh, yeah. Oh, not the place we cheated! <laughs> yeah. That would be honest. <laughs> yep. That's a lot of frickin' AoE. Oh god. Have fun. Yeah, I took one down before I got killed. <laughs> they not have swift cast up. I don't know. Good start. It happens. Huh? Yep. Oh, I can go ouchies. Yeah, Mister uh, Sneak Attack over there. <laughs> See the healers wearing the summer outfit. Nice. Which is funny because we're in a very cold place. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be fair, my outfit isn't exactly conducive to this region either. No, well, neither is mine. Mine with no arm sleeves on it. <laughs> And the other one that probably would be in like Paladin Gear's outfit at this point, but. Hey, they leveled up. Yay! Yeah, I'm at 42. They're still right in that range where they haven't reached level 6 yet. Actually, one of them is at level 6. The other one's not, though, but. Yep. I want that 42. That would be Mr. Mach How not to play machinist. <laughs> <laughs> I think they did a lot of how to play machinist, because you know. You play it how you play it. Mm -hmm. Yep. gonna move yeah. Yep. The hell out of the way here. Oh. Yes, the yeah. <laughs> Oh shit. Ow. Yeah. A little bit of extra shit. Come on over here. That.
this on you. Little shadow fang effect here. <laughs> oh, shit. Ooh. Nah, not yet. I think it was a wide range. Yeah, it is a wide range. Basically, the best way to avoid that is get to their backsides, their corner backsides. Yep. And he's dead. Ooh. I wonder if I can get that. Astrologian weapon. Yeah. Got two of them from dungeons already, beep, so. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, yeah. you got it. <laughs> I got the one from uh, Cutter's Cry and the one from Warm Veil already, so. Nice. Or if I get lucky, I can solo this dungeon to the point with my gunbreaker and fight to win again. You know, getting prepped for when I do unlock Astrology and I'll have gear for it already. Yeah. yeah. I've never actually. Okay, when I leveled. Astrologian originally, I actually purchased a skip, so I'm actually unfamiliar with the whole story. Ah. So that'll be fun to go over. Yep. Oh, hi, Mr. Noxious Fire Breath Dragon. We will be seeing you later. <laughs> you come over here. It'll be glorious when that happens, you will get the shit kicked out of you. There we go. A little trip over the starting gate. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think so, Mr. Dragon. Yeah. Right now, if I remember correctly, this is the spot where I want to be a little more careful. Yeah. So if you're talking about the encounters after this, yes. Yeah. Because that's when the certain enemies pop out of nowhere. Yep. I like spikes. Oh, damn it. I goofed on that. What did you rabbit? Yep. <laughs> nice. Rabbit on top of my head over the last long. I wanna do my fire ninjutsu and probably got a little bit, bit too button pressy here. Mm -hmm. Not this time. Oh. And have another one. Yep. Thank you, may I have another? <laughs> Thank you, sir. May I have another? Actually, that is kind of my thing. Yeah, man. Yep. That's the nice thing about going through dungeon solos that you can do it your own way. You don't have to like proceed to exit, it seems like this to get through the dungeon fast. Yep. Kind of Thanks look for gear. Let's see what this is. Oh cast greed on that. Yeah. Ah. You got a neater. Ah, yeah. Yep. That's a need, so. Yep. How much you can do about that? Nope. Alright, and now for this motherfucker. Yep. Here. 
Yep. Actually, probably better so, if yeah. face him this way. Yeah, you face him that way. Please. <laughs> that way I can keep an eye on the cabs and the other dragon guests I drop in here. Yep. Oh, hey, look who it is. Oh, speaking of... Oh, asshole. Hey, get out of here. Get out of here. You can oh. take a lot of damage. Yeah. Then yeah, the fucking whirlwinds appear to try to screw things up, but it didn't work. Grab that. Try and grab that. Yeah, I'll try to... Yeah, yep, yep yeah, another yeah. need cast again, it looks like. Yep. Yep, I'm gonna do about that. Ah, fuck. Oh, yeah! And home game. Okay. You two come here. to ask if there was anything in there worth getting, but I do see a treasure coffer. Yep. So I think it's one of those old things where you kind of need to repair it to make it worth something. Well, nothing gained, uh, nothing gained. Uh, Come on. Oh, there's a shirt. You got that, thank you very much. And there you go. Yep. And just a couple more groups. Yeah. In fact. Everybody over here. the rail stone vision. yep look it's the enterprise da, 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 da. yes yes <laughs> yes just beyond yeah. the enormous sleeping dragon Ugh. big old Durgan boy yeah. The dragon is not our concern. Yeah, it's my concern. Or it's about to be. We've come for the airship and only the airship. Sid, you and I will sneak aboard the Enterprise and prepare for launch. Harris, you stay here and keep an eye on the beast. If it wakes, we may need you to provide a distraction until we are ready to depart. You can manage that, can't you? That settles it then. Shall we, Sid? 
As you command. Oh shit, an Asian. So you mean to slay Garuda next? Interesting. Most interesting. They got him, the tanker. They probably would have pulled by now. Yep. And you are aware that her strength greatly exceeds that of your previous primal conquests. A testament to the fanatical devotion of her followers. The Ixal are nothing if not zealous. Despite of your past achievements, I labor to believe that you will best this foe. It only a fool would underestimate the great bringer of light, slayer of Ifrit, bane of Titan. If any mortal is capable of defeating the Lady of the Vortex, it is you. Win or lose, the battle should at least make for an entertaining spectacle. Assuming, of course, you live that long. He wakes up the dragon. Yep. Alpha oh, no, the dragon. Confound it all. Let us see how well your blasphemous gifts serve you this time, Crystal Bearer. The giant scorpion fighter didn't work, so now let's try a dragon. up in the air. There we go. Got the center. I always find the, the best strategy for when he does that is to just get in the center. Makes it a little easier to dodge everything. Yeah, face up first time. <laughs> yep. This next time you'll throw in something extra. Oh yeah, the little ice puddles. Yep. Yeah, those make it a little more difficult. It is if everyone's just ganging up in the center. Yep. But spread out is not too bad. Yeah. Ah, uh, no, you don't. Find me. That's the last time I'll be seeing that attack. <laughs> nope. Uh. Yeah, let's... Center. Okay, not now he's yet. dropping AoEs. Yeah, see, yeah, not yet. Basically, you get the hell of a corner in his face. Oh, shit. Okay. Thank you. Into the corner. Or in the center. Sorry. Yep, right there. Nice. Said so that just after I started punching to activate it. And the dragon is dead. Woo! <laughs> 
Oh, right. right, didn't it? Lala Feld Machinist left. Yep. Salt. That. Capella. Wait. That's an Astrologia? Okay. Hey, we got that to drop twice. Hey, I got it this time. Nice. For those of you wondering at home, I've gotten into a habit of taking screenshots whenever I first clear duty. Yeah. Ooh, got a player combination. Sweet. Nice. Sing. And with that cutscene, because, well, yeah. The crystal. The ice crystal. Okay, you left slightly ahead of me, so. PS5 loading times for the win. Yep. I can't ever see this, so. I might not see. <laughs> One left. Harris! Harris! Are you alright? Speak to me. Yeah, I just zone out a little. Sorry. Twelve be praised. I feared the beast had injured you. I see now why the others rated you so highly. When you were caught in the midst of that etheric bubble with the dragon, I was all but certain my next mission would be to find a new champion. Like the gods for sparing me that inconvenience, I have quite enough to do already. Which reminds me, Sid is working on the Enterprise as we speak. Let's go and see what he has to say. What say you, Sid? Does she fly? Yes, though it will not be a pleasant ride. Well, I dare say it will be no more unpleasant than staying here. It is a pity the Enterprise is not in a better state, but if she will allow us to quit this place, I shall not complain. If all are in agreement, let us return to Gridania. Though I would like nothing more to, than to set course for the Howling Eye, it is plain the Enterprise is in no condition to weather the storm. She must needs be repaired if we are to proceed with our mission. all so familiar. I... I know this airship. I could just... Ah, it's no use. Let's go. Let's go. And away she goes. I would say let me know when you're done with the cutscene, but you're right there. Yeah. That's a yay, Bob Speedy, Chris and Cortis. Woo! <laughs> ah, how I have longed for the more agreeable climate of the Twelveswood. Yet I will not deny the Holy Sea had its charms. Endless detours aside, our Ishgardi and John proved quite an adventure. Alas, our work is far from done. Still have an airship to repair and a primal to slay. A risk for the heroic, eh? 
Yeah. Where are we dropping, boys? Hmm. Got a couple extra minutes of footage to make up for the all the waiting. calms me to look at her. It's as though I've been reunited with a part of me I never knew what was missing. Hardly surprising, you did design and build her. I bear good news. The Seed Seers have granted our request to house the Enterprise. It may take as long as we require to repair her. Of course, it would be rank folly to take one moment more than we, than we require. The root, unless we forget, grows stronger by the hour. If we are to have any hope of wresting this benighted realm from her talents, it must needs be soon. Though I am no expert on the workings of airships, it seems plain to me that the Enterprise suffered much from her time in the wilderness. Am I not correct, Sid? You are. Frankly, it's a miracle she carried us this far. As you know, the Howling Eye is encircled by a raging tempest apt to turn proud trees to matchwood. Our battle will end before it begins if the Enterprise cannot weather the storm. Given time, I believe I can fully repair her. But if this tempest is as fearsome as you say, even that may not be enough. <sighs> Confound it. There must be a way. A way to breathe the fury of the elements. The elements. But of course, that's it. We work upon the element itself. Using the power of a corrupted crystal, we can clear a path through the storm and spare the Enterprise a battery. I see. You propose to utilize the properties of a crystal to alter the elemental aspect of the barrier. It seems so childishly simple in retrospect. Though it may happen not to you, Harris. Speak of the manifestations of over-aspected ether that can be found throughout Eorzea. Since the Calamity disrupted the land's etheric currents, such crystals have been comparatively commonplace. It has been a cause of great woe as they are known to warp etheric energies, including those of living organisms. The point is, we could theoretically use a corrupted crystal to convert the wind-aspected ether comprising Garuda's barrier into ether of another aspect, one she cannot control. With certain modifications, the Enterprise should be able to deliver us to the Howling Eye in comfort, however hard Garuda blows. But we are getting ahead of ourselves. All of this rests upon our ability to procure a crystal with the necessary properties. Have you any idea where we might acquire one? No, but I know a man who might. A scholar by the name of... Lambertaint, who resigns in Camp Drybone. These names sometimes, I swear to fucking God. Strange as it may sound... <laughs> yeah. Strange as it may sound, I met him during my time at the church. Well, Marcus met him, I suppose. Whether out of pity or for want of a more willing listener, he would talk to me for hours at a time about his etheric studies, corrupted crystal being his pet subject. It was as a result of these conversations that poor Marcus was observed to possess an uncommon knack for theoretical science. Harris, I need you to return to Thanalin and seek out this scholar. Did and I will set about repairing the Enterprise in your absence. Bing, bing. I think that's long enough. All right, time to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for joining us. If you liked this video, leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe on the bell. And we'll see you guys next time. Yep. And stop it. All of my children in whom life flows up and To all of my children to whom death hath passed his joy.